Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to Surviving Mars, uh, Inventive India. So, yeah, um, I know I basically say this every episode, but I don't remember what I was doing last time. Right, anyway, let's uh, get the clock running here. Um, yeah. <clears throat> okay, what do we... What do we have here? Um, background noise that may come through on the video, apparently. Uh, anyway, um, right, I wanted to check on science. Yeah. Science. Uh, what are we researching? Storage compression. Right, okay, so that's definitely good. Uh, and then... Uh, uh, Micromanufacturing. Right, oh, right, right, yeah, because we need to get our... Um, factories uh, online right uh, so we can build uh, so, so we can build factories when we need them uh, so that yeah that's definitely good um, but right now we're looking at building up resources because I really really want to build that mohole mine um, yeah that mohole uh, so I guess uh, what I want to do is uh, is get enough uh, enough stuff online here uh, that I can do that uh, now mohol uh, requires uh, no uh, it's here uh, mohol requires uh, 80 metal that's not a problem and 240 machine uh, machine parts and uh, that's definitely going to be uh, something of a uh, problem. Uh, you know, the space elevators uh, kind of in that same uh, same vein. So, yeah, uh, that uh, definitely uh, definitely want to uh, to sort that out, right? Um, so that's going to mean. Uh, probably importing a lot of uh, machine parts. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, check in on the other colonies. Uh, Japan, yeah, is short on them. Uh, and uh, these guys, uh, yeah, they're short on them. Yeah, everybody's short on them. So, yeah, I'm not going to be able to import them. So. They'll definitely have to come from Earth to, to make up the difference. Uh, meanwhile, uh, what I really need to do is up my population. Now, uh, what's this? This is the drone assembler. And I'm thinking that... Uh, that uh, now, I'm not... I don't have a huge demand for um, uh, electronics uh, parts, so I was thinking I might be able to... Uh, activate uh, this here and uh, build a couple of uh, bio robots uh, and that uh, that will at least give me colonists that aren't going to die of old age so uh, at least that's uh, what I understand so if I turn this back on uh, well, it has to be fixed first, obviously. Um, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that, that won't take long, because I do have the uh, material to do that. Um, right. Now, uh, I have a machine parts factory running. Yeah, I need more colonists. That's uh, that's where, uh, where things are at. Okay. Uh, I definitely need more colonists. Um, yeah, okay, so we're, uh, yeah, storage compression will just make batteries and water tanks hold more. Uh, I don't understand how you can compress water, but, uh, that's neither here nor there. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, so, uh, overall, uh, we got through a really tough time on resource shortages, uh, the last couple episodes, as I recall, uh, and we got through the mystery. So uh, we don't have to worry about more mystery stuff. Uh, overall, it was a pretty uh, benign mystery. Um, right, okay, so that's a machine parts factory. Um, 
Okay, this thing is ready to operate, so let's um, let's order let's order two bio robots and see what that does. Um, yeah, uh, it doesn't tell us though in the uh, uh, is is there? Oh wait, there's a. Um, um, are we able to uh, colonists? Uh, right. And, uh, now let's see. Is it a, do we have a, yeah, there's a, okay, so we have one, uh, bio robot. Uh, uh, so, yeah, so we've already got one bio robot. Uh, right okay uh, now since they don't age uh, that means that uh, as long as we can uh, keep making them uh, we won't run out of people uh, work uh, you know workers and uh, that could be that could be uh, critical later on uh, I've never actually uh, researched that before and uh, actually built any uh, but you know Eh, why not? Uh, and they count as Martian born, so there's that too. Uh, what's not working? A concrete extractor. Um, stored con oh, the concrete storage is full. Um, yeah, that would uh, definitely uh, mean that it can't uh, can't operate. Uh, right. Okay. Well, I can uh, I can do something about that. Uh, well, we, yeah, we don't have those yet, right? Um, concrete depot. Yeah, we'll drop. Yeah, that'll do. It's not where I wanted it, but it'll do. Uh, and that'll get the concrete extractor operating again. Yep. Uh, right. Okay. So. Uh, what else do we need here? Um, oh, right, our rockets are, are at Earth. Uh, right, so let's start with a passenger rocket, and I want to make sure I'm not bringing tourists. I'm not. Okay. Uh, right. Uh, okay. Let's see. You know what? That's fine. Uh, so we'll launch that rocket, and no, that's not what I wanted. Uh, here, uh, we have. Uh, well, let's bring a. Whoops, yeah. So let's uh, let's bring another uh, stack of uh, tourists, or not tourists, of uh, colonists up, and. Uh, we don't have enough, uh, yeah, we don't have enough money to actually buy anything useful. So let's bring another batch of them up. Uh, as I think that's going to be my uh, major problem right now is uh, workforce. So uh, bringing them up uh, will uh, alleviate the workforce issues. Uh, that's that's kind of uh, kind of what I want to do. Uh, right. Okay. So we've got three rockets coming with colonists. Um, all right. We have this uh, this dome over here. Uh, right. We've got. Um, no, it's doing okay. Uh, yeah, because we're uh, we're mining rare metals over there, right? Uh, that's uh, that's definitely important. Um, what I need to do is get uh, a bunch of water vaporators online. Uh, that's going to be uh, important at some point as well, because uh, these uh, water resources will run out at uh, some point. Um, okay, we can. Uh, take this here um, uh, concrete extractor apart 
Uh, so we'll do that. So we don't need to worry about concrete for a, a minute or two here. Um, yeah, uh, where is a uh, concrete deposit that we can possibly uh, exploit? There's one up there. Uh, okay, how big is that one? That's a big one. Okay, so yeah, that's the one we'll exploit when the time comes, probably. Uh, right. Uh, yeah, uh, this one, yeah, it's not that big. Okay. Uh, right, okay, so we've got lots of metals, lots of concrete, uh, food seems to be okay. Uh, so yeah, we should be okay there. Uh, yeah, we've got, uh, oh, what I should do is uh, build uh, a ramp up to, um, well, up to these uh, plateaus. That's what I should do, uh, but before I do that, I should land my rockets. Right. So that's the rockets landed. Uh, we have a we have a, an RC commander, um, so yeah, I should be able to to build the uh, build a ramp or a tunnel or something um, right so we've got uh, colonists arriving and uh, too much work for the shuttles you know that's fine um, now how's this uh, this doing yeah we're working on a uh, bio robot uh, right so what I really want to grab I think is a uh, do I have a machine uh, or a electronics uh, prefab? Uh, no. Uh, so I, I think I. Oh wait, we're uh, we're researching that next. Yeah, I can wait. Yeah, that'll be fine. Uh, okay. So we've got uh, a bunch of unemployed colonists now. Uh, right, okay, so let's take a look here. Uh, if we add a work shift there, uh, that'll definitely be good. Uh, we got full shifts there. Um, uh, wait, uh, polymer factory. Um, yeah, we want another work shift on that. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think, I think we're good there. Okay. Um, okay, that's storage compression complete. So, that's definitely good. Uh, now... Um, right, uh, what do I, uh, what do I need? Um, I need an um, apparently, uh, or an uh. Okay, now, now what were we researching? Micromanufacturing. Um, uh, well, let's, uh, let's take a look in the, uh, science here. Uh, micromanufacturing is electronics factory, right, okay. Um, okay, so what do we have here? Uh, compact passenger module. Yeah, maybe. Uh, fueled extractors. Um, smart home, no. Uh, battery optimization. Automated storage, we might want that. Um... Interplanetary projects, um, maybe. Uh, you know what? Let's grab the uh, planetary survey in the uh, list here. Yeah, uh, that seems like a good idea. Now, uh, let's look at the uh, rockets. Which one is uh, allowed exports? That one, okay. 
what do we have colonist wise for specialization we have six officers we could recruit colonists from another colony uh, that uh, that might be worth doing if we had um, oh we have living space for that okay and this has yeah okay so I'll launch that rocket what Um, oh, we, we have a risk, of uh, no risk of explosion, so there we go. Uh, right, now, uh, let's go in this view here, and, uh, we'll look here, um, uh, colonists 48, yeah, everybody has 48 colonists, um, Okay, so 59, 59. Yeah, so we have good relations with them anyway. Well, uh, let's go in Covert Ops. And we will recruit colonists. Um, we'll grab non-specialists. And we'll just send one of our rockets. Okay. Now what we're going to do also is uh, we're going to go over here and we're going to contact and see if we can ch exchange technologies. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. Uh, contact, exchange tech. Okay. Uh, and then we'll go over here. Contact, exchange tech. Okay, we'll do that. Uh, see, it's worth doing that because these uh, col the rival colonies don't really compete with you, uh, and you can uh, su substantially improve your uh, scientific um, uh, advance advancements uh, uh, by uh, by doing that. Uh, and that's uh, that's definitely worth doing. Uh, Sterling generators are actually. Uh, you know, they're not that bad of a thing to have. Um, right. Uh, uh, basic domes, micro domes. Yep. Yeah. Uh, nah. Okay. So, overall, uh, we're doing okay here. Um, uh, yeah, we're actually doing uh, doing quite good here. Uh, now, are there any planetary anomalies? No. Uh, okay. Well, what what's this one? Uh, that is no. Uh, this is yeah no. Okay. Yeah, we're we're not doing any of that stuff. Uh, right. Okay. Uh, we're we're uh, at eight uh, electronics. Uh, so yeah, when the uh, rocket gets to Earth, uh, we'll definitely, uh, uh, if we can afford it, we'll uh, grab a prefab for a. Okay, we've got eighteen colonists, so that's kind of nice. Um, maybe we won't grab a prefab. Uh, Let's, um, uh, what does, uh, this, this gives us electronics factory. Oh, yeah, you need, uh, electronics to make one. Uh, okay, so, uh, yeah. Yeah, maybe I will grab a, uh, prefab anyway. Uh, right. Uh, so, yeah, we're, uh, we're doing okay here. Uh, I want to get moisture vaporators up. Um, do I have? Uh, yeah, I have the hygroscopic, uh, whatever it is, thing going there. So yeah, uh, right. Um, oh, we've got a uh, rocket that can land. This should have our uh, fresh new uh, colonists on it, uh, and that should. Uh, that should definitely uh, fill out our workforce to the point where we uh, 
we have enough people to do pretty much everything. Uh, right, okay, so yeah, we are actually oh, 11 machine parts per uh, soul. Uh, so that's, uh, that's quite good. So we're building up on those. Uh, right, uh, and polymers, uh, yeah, we're doing seven per soul. Um, so yeah, once we get uh, electronics uh, construction going on, uh, we should be uh, pretty pretty solid, uh, and that'll be that'll be really good. Uh, right. Uh, one of the things that really um, really helps your colony is when you get uh, get the shuttle hubs, uh, because that uh, that allows you to get resources from remote locations quickly. Uh, okay, we've got 288 million in funding, uh, so we will um, we'll we'll go over here, a cargo rocket, and it's going to be prefabs uh, uh, electronics factory is 600 million. Yeah, you know what? I think that's going to be worth it. Yeah, I think that's going to be worth it. Okay, so we'll go back. Um, is there anything we can grab here while we're at it? Um, no, we don't need to do that. Okay, uh, yeah. Launch. Uh, yeah, because I want to get that online, and I've got the, uh, the workforce to do this, so... And what I should do, uh, once I've got all of my uh, resource uh, stuff sorted out, is uh, get a university online somewhere. Uh, right. Yeah, that'd be good. Uh, right, so... Uh, education. Uh, Martian University needs 12... Uh, yeah, yeah, we're not going to build that just yet. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. If we get we get a university online, that'll be uh, that'll be really good as well. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. I think that'll be the uh, the critical thing to do next. We have an Earth sick colonist. Oh right, yeah. I wanted to uh, to create a uh, ramp or something up here. Uh, so. Uh, I'm going to uh, go in here under terraforming uh, ramp and if we uh, make it small uh, and uh, we uh, we start up here and we're gonna go down here right so we'll uh, we'll go up here. Yep. And I'm gonna have to get uh, drones in range, and that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna do this also over here. Uh, okay. So so we have a flat spot up there. Okay. So we can, so we can go from here up to here. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, I oh, uh, rockets here. Uh, right. Uh, land the rocket, and I need to find my. RC commander, right. So I'm going to send the RC commander over here. Uh, right. So that will um, that will allow me to get get a uh, ramp up here, and uh, and this is yeah, it's going to take a while to. Um, to deal with that, 
but when the uh, RC commander gets there, the uh, uh, we've got a dust storm coming. Uh, the uh, terraforming thing can start uh, occurring. Uh, I am going to add some uh, drones to the uh, thing here. Uh, right, okay, and uh, yeah, uh, what I should probably do is uh, put up a couple of these just in case they're needed, and uh, yeah, uh, right, okay, so, uh, so far so good. Uh, we got a uh, dust storm coming, so... Uh, this the one, yeah, that's the one that takes the uh, rare metals. Uh, right, I needed to go over here and uh, build a electronics factory over here. Yeah. Uh, and by doing that, I should... Uh, it should sort out the uh, shortages on the uh, uh, electronics parts, and then uh, then I should have a mostly self-sustaining colony uh, until I get uh, uh, until I get uh, um, uh, vaporators going, and then I can be fully self-sustaining. Uh, without having to worry about running out of resources. Uh, fortunately, I've got another uh, res water resource up here with lots in it, so uh, it shouldn't be a problem. Anyway, uh, right. Uh, yeah, since I, I have... Uh, oh, we don't have... Uh, Insufficient rare metals, right. Uh, yeah, uh, what I should do is uh, turn off rare metals export there. Uh, yeah, uh, so I really do want to get the mohole mine uh, up and running. So uh, it, it'll be a case of uh, getting as much... Uh, uh, okay, yeah, so we're, we're producing some... Uh, now, so so that's good. Uh, 2.5 should be enough, uh, since we have relatively little uh, requirement there. Uh, I do have the workforce to work more, but I don't think that's particularly uh, urgent here. Uh, how's this? Okay, there's there's lots left there. Um, do I have... Yeah, I don't have the residential slots there. Hmm. I could put a another shift on here. Yeah, I'll do that. Uh, is we have unemployed people here. Uh, right, okay. Um, yeah, okay. So uh, what I'm going to do is um, it's a rare metals extractor which I can stick right here uh, yeah and I've got the resources to build it so so there's that uh, okay and we got the dust storm it's gonna last a day and a half so that's going to be fun. Uh, we should have enough uh, enough stored stuff here to make it work. Uh, right, okay. And this is going to start going up right away here. There we go. And it needs power. Yeah, of course it does. Uh, right, okay, so that's in here and it's under power. And if I grab a power cable, I can do this, and problem solved. 
Uh, we have low resource storage here. Uh, well, we are uh, producing those. Okay, now we've got a, a whole shift on there. And uh, uh, how many per shift? Uh, the amplify. Is this one amplified? No. Um, let's uh, amplify those as well. Uh, right. Uh, so yeah, definitely get those uh, those moving more, uh, so that we can build up uh, rare metals, uh, and that will allow us to uh, produce the electronics. Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. That's what we need to do. Uh, do I have the people for another shift? Uh, no. Oh, right. We can get the people when the dust storm ends. Right. Okay, so what I'm going to do... Uh, there's a living quarter, which is smaller than a regular... Um, uh, thing here. So I'm going to put a couple of those up. Yeah, like that. Uh, and that will uh, that will make sure I have enough living space for everybody to uh, to do um, four shifts. Is uh, yeah, or three four shifts, three shifts. Um, yeah. Uh, what's this? Um, uh, one of our the water chip. Um, um, now let's see. Uh, without it, water consumption there will increase four hundred percent. Uh, let's see, uh, it's, it'll take six souls to manufacture. Uh, we can't afford to... Okay, uh, we'll just hope our uh, water reserve holds out. Um, uh, right, okay, so we clearly need to uh, designate uh, some uh, dumping sites here. Yeah. Uh, okay, so yeah, we've got... Um, oh, how long is... Oh, four hours left in the uh, storm, so I think we'll be okay. Uh, right, okay. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. Uh, right. Uh, you know, those uh, random uh, events are uh, always fun when they pop up. Uh, right, okay, so after this uh, dust storm is done, uh, we'll see what our uh, water consumption looks like. Uh, yeah, uh, okay, so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to build a water extractor one two three there uh, and we're uh, we're also going to uh, put a oh wow uh, put a where is it uh, drone hub uh, over here. Yep. Uh, well, that was uh, quite a substantial... Um, uh, okay, so water, we're down to minus five. Uh, oh yeah, we got a lot of stored water. We should be fine. But I'll get these online here so that I can... Uh, so I don't have to worry about it when... Uh, when the time comes, so I need to get it uh, connected to the uh, water grid. 
Uh, and uh, these ones too. Yep, like that. And I need to uh, join the power grid as well. And that should do that. Uh, yep, that does. Okay. Whoops. That um, that gets things uh, rolling nicely. Uh, right. Uh, and with those coming online, it should... Yep, that should... Uh, Yeah, when everything comes online there, it should uh, it should even out the water supply. Uh, but we're positive again now, so so there's that. So good, yeah, uh, we're okay with that. Uh, right. Uh, so we're uh, producing fewer uh, machine parts apparently. Uh, Okay, so we've got a second one of those up. And, uh, well, what I should do... Oh no, it's in range, so... Yeah, I don't think we need to worry. Uh, right, okay, good. Uh, and I will add the amplification on there. Okay, so yeah. Uh, now we should be good. Uh, right. Low resource polymers? What's it using polymers on? Oh, construction. Okay. Yeah, that's, uh, that's definitely a thing. Uh, right. Um, okay. Yeah, I think we're doing okay. We don't have unemployed people. Uh, so that's a good sign. Uh, let's go over here. Uh, no. Uh, yeah, we're doing we're doing okay. So we're we're producing rare metals. Uh, so that's good. That's uh, that's definitely good. Uh, what are we researching? Uh, factory AI. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, that's definitely good. Okay, yeah, we're, we're okay there. Um, arcology spires. Those are somewhat useful. Okay, anyway, that's fine. Uh, oh, right, we, uh, we need those for the uh, uh, drone hub, right? Okay, yeah, so that won't be a, a big issue. That will sort itself out. Uh, machine parts is uh, growing, so we'll be able to build the Moho mine at uh, at some point, and that will definitely solve any shortages of these. Okay, uh, well, I think that's going to be enough for this time around. Uh, yeah, it's uh, going on 40 minutes now, uh, so I'm going to uh, call it here. Uh, there will be another part up uh, probably next week. And uh, yeah, uh, so the colony is just about to the point where I'm not sure how much, how interesting it's going to be to continue. So all one or two of you that watch this, um, yeah, uh, you know, let me know. Uh, but I'll keep, I'll keep this going for a little bit longer, uh, at least until I get to the point of at least being able to start uh, terraforming anyway. Uh, but anyway, uh, that's all for this time. Uh, see you next time.